And let's show some love for Vanessa Stas. Bon, I'm afraid I have a little bit of a, an, an original story because the ending is the same as a lot of women. And um, it talks about uh, snakes, but um, this, in a place where snakes are actually uh, dangerous, poisonous, and you die, this uh, place would be um, the Amazon. Um, in 1999, I went to do my uh, fieldwork research um, for my master's in anthropology. Okay, so I met, uh, I met André twice, vicariously. The first time uh, through his mom, uh, who uh, was uh, one of my subjects that was studying pregnancy and birth. She was uh, pregnant with her eighth uh, child from a, an eighth different father. And when she spoke about uh, her oldest uh, son, she had so much... Um, joy and, and, and passion and admiration. In fact, he had left uh, the village to go work at, 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 uh, in the city uh, to be able to um, support um, his mom and her many <laughs> children. And um, so that, that kind of stuck with me. I returned uh, two years later um, and uh, I actually got back together with um, this relationship that I had been uh, in with Lucas um, the, previous, uh, the previous day, just basically out of habit. But uh, I've, I've, I was never really uh, in love with, uh, with Lucas. Um, I thought um, he was mildly... Um, yeah, I, I wasn't in love, that's enough, <laughs> that's enough. But suddenly he started to be, uh, he, to tell very interesting story, like very uh, funny, very inquisitive, very different. And I, I, I thought he was developing some charms and a, a certain charm. But then I realized that it's because he had a new um, fishing partner um, whom I, I later discovered was André. And so basically, I, ha I, I, I developed a, a vicarious crush through, through Lu Lucas for, for him. And um, eventually, I, um, I take my, my courage and, and uh, end up uh, breaking up with uh, Lucas. And I'm on my last night um, there before, um, before leaving again. And... Um, it's, it's Sunday night, we're all at the, the center of the village after all the soccer games and everybody is like gathered in little groups and talking and, um, and then I, I, I see from the corner of my eyes André walking uh, back to his home um, presumably to go sleep and I would never see him again. So I rose from my chair, uh, perhaps a little bit too uh, eagerly for uh, all the gossips machines that were around me. <laughs> but but I, I, I go to him and very quickly we realize that um, the attraction is, is reciprocal. And I'm like, okay, we have to do something about it. And so I invite him in the best bed that I found in the middle of the Amazonia is the, the, the soccer field that is actually surrounded by the, by the jungle. And, and during the day, it's fine. But uh, um, I said, meet me there. We, we, we lived, so there's two, per, just two roads, you know, the one coming from, um, from the city to the sea and then the perpendicular one where all the houses are. And I thought we could, we could meet each taking our road and nobody would see us. So he, he's not so sure. I mean, the, the, the fear of, of uh, cobras, of, of snakes, is, is really real. And anyway, I, I, we, 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 we decided, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll meet there. And so I, I go sit and, you know, try to bide my time and thinking, okay, um, uh, I have to wait long enough so that nobody uh, knows because it, it would be a big, a big story. And then I walk to my... You know, I, I fake to go to my house and and then slip in in the path that I know really well to get to the soccer field. And there I arrived, and it's empty. And so I'm completely crushed. I'm like, oh no, he did. You know, he was not enticed enough to to meet me here, and that's very sad. So I'm I'm about to turn around and uh, and go um, go home at, when. He finally appears, and um, same thing from 
that night on, it wasn't a crush anymore. <laughs>